I think India and Italy are two civilizations that have recognized food to be the center. They have recognized food as culture, food as ecology, food is legacy and tradition, food is about how you manage the land and the earth and the territory, it is about identity. So the initial stage for Italy and India are very high, but there is a global assault on our food systems and our food cultures by a very fraudulent and a toxic food systems that uses poisons, pesticides, glyphosate, Roundup, that sees the small farmer as an enemy, that sees the bees and the pollinators as enemies to be exterminated. Both with the 2008 crisis, where pensions were taken away from people, where the young people couldn't get work, where there's an economic closure. Quite clearly, people are looking for cheaper food. But the cheaper food is the fake food and the bad food. So it, we have to address the food crisis by looking at the globalized economy and its distortion. So we face a common threat everywhere, everywhere. But India and Italy have more to lose because we had more. I am extremely optimistic because it is true that some of the older farmers are losing their farms, but it is also true that there are new farmers, people who never farmed before are becoming farmers. So while there is a very big and violent wave of destruction, there is also an amazing wave of regeneration. And I have much more hope because people aren't sitting back and waiting for governments to solve the problems. And they're definitely not putting their trust in the corporations that have brought us to this point. Because we are sustained by the food we eat and we are made sick by the bad food that's forced on us, Every day's food can be a place where we can begin action. And if it turns out that there isn't local good food, become part of building a local food community. Connect to farmers, create gardens like this. Rome has the largest areas of green in any European city. Sitting here in Rome, there is a garden food can grow. What's women's roles? The women's first role is we never gave up the recognition that we have intelligence, that we know what health is about. And in India, a big movement of non-cooperation against the destructive food system is women saying, we know what good food is and we will not allow you to ban it and criminalize it. We will not allow a distorted economy to force feed us with junk food. Women also know, not just that they have knowledge of food, they know that life is intelligence, that every cell in our body is intelligent. And when it loses intelligence, when it loses its ability to regulate, we get cancer. Cancer is nothing but a disease of the collapse of the regulatory metabolic processes of our body. Just as much as diabetes is a metabolic disease, we are killing the capacities of our cells, our microbes, our bodies, the earth, to regulate itself. Women have this knowledge, even though it's been attacked hugely by an anti-scientific system that declared that nature is dead and women are ignorant. That unscientific system has not been able to kill the true knowledge. And what women have known over centuries, science is now verifying that ecology is the science of relationship and what harms the earth harms our bodies. This is where we have a connection on regeneration. The regeneration of women's health, children's health, the earth's health is also women's liberation. That's where women's liberation has to go now. It cannot be separate from the liberation of the earth, from all the assaults, assaults on Mother Earth. Questa Italia che cambia non puoi fermarla ormai, questa Italia